All right, so good morning everyone. By the way, I am Gerardo Bogan. I will be your instructor for this morning. So before anything else, uh, may you all stand up for a prayer and we'll be disturbed down and we'll your prayer, please. Our Father, the Lord in heaven, hallowed be thy name. The kingdom come, the will be done on earth as it is in heaven. He was his day and he did bread, for he was our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. 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 Uh, do we have Miss Ruby Legaspi? Present, sir. All right. Um, Karel? Present. Wendell? Present, sir. Thank you for the perfect attendance. So, um, again, um, for this subject, computer mediated, I will be discussing, of course, just what you have, what you can see, email. So, do you have any idea what email is? Ruby? Yes, you raise your hand. So, email is commonly short, I mean, electronic mail is commonly shortened to email and it is a communication method that uses electronic devices to deliver messages across computer networks. That's correct. Thank you so much for the answer. Actually, you guys, uh, Ruby is correct. Email is an electronic tool we use in, um, in an online communication, right? And we use it everywhere, like for um, for businesses, for schools, right? We, we write letters and then send it to a um, specific recipient, right? So a part of um, this discussion, I will also be discussing the various methods on how you use email, all right? So this is email, this is how email looks like. So take a look on this one because I will be asking some questions, all right? So how to send an email, or should I say, what are the various methods on sending an email? So, um, Miguel, can you read number one, please? How to send an email. Number one, choose a program for sending emails. All right, thank you so much. So, um, we, when we send an email, we need to, che uh, to choose a program. The first step to uh, sending uh, an email is choosing a program to use. We have a different uh, types of program or software uh, to in order for us to use email effectively we have um, email outlook we have um, google uh, gmail and whatnot so um, the purpose of choosing a right program for sending email is for us to um, use the email effectively and efficiently and organize all right um miss carol can you number two Type out emails in the recipient box. All right. So um, that's the second method on how to send an email is to type out emails in the recipient box. So if we take a look on the picture that I uh, that I was showing earlier, um, where can you see the recipient um, section? With the uh, uh, this section, the two, this one. Yes, sir. That's correct. Thank you so much, Wendell. Um, the purpose of uh, using or um, typing out emails in the recipient box is because we have to be specific with our recipient, with our messages on who to send to, right? For example, if we are writing for an application letter, of course, we have to type out the, the, the specific um, recipient, um, email to the recipient box so that it will be sent directly to the whoever that person is, all right? Um, Ruby, can you read um, number two, please? Use CC or BCC to include authors. All right, so CC stands for carbon copy, and BCC stands for blind carbon copy. The purpose of using these are, uh, this is the, comp the composition window where you can include other people without sending the email to them directly. So, ato bisi lang kami po, ang kanyang CC or BC. If we take a look on the picture, this is the here. So, this is not actually the direct recipient of the email, but rather, or an 
papil si Ja sa makareceive maka sa email. And fret not, we are not expecting for a response from them. It's just that they are aware that there is uh, an email or uh, an information that is being sent. All right? So, number four is write a subject for your email. Of course, it's very important to include the subject if you are about to write an email. Um, Karia, what do, you, what, what do you think is important? What do you think is important to include subject if you're on email? Have you write an email before? Or have you used the email before? Yes. Yeah, so why do you think um, is important to use subject if you are going, if you are writing an email or, or if you are sending an email? When does this recent say I don't know? Um, yeah, can you stand up? I think a uh, subject is important for your email. So to determine what is the purpose of your email. That's correct. Very good, Mandel. The, the purpose of uh, writing a subject or including a subject in writing an email is that um, so that the recipient would know what is the purpose or what, what is the subject or what what is the information all about. Like for example, if you are if you are writing a an excuse letter, so if the recipient received the email, the recipient or the receiver would know um, directly would know um, immediately what the letter is all about because you have the subject. So for example, in this picture you put here. For in this example, the subject is photography studio grand opening. So it's very specific. So the, re the receiver has the idea already what the letter is all about, okay? And the fifth is compose the body of your message. Of course, the very important. Ruby, what is your idea about um, compose the body of your message? Why do we need to, um, to write body in terms of uh, writing? For me, I think it's important to you know compose the body of your message because you propose. I mean, to know the for the receiver to know your purpose of why would you send or why you propose that message or whatever. That's right. Other than all of these, um, the recipient or the, the CCBC, the CCBC, or the subject, the very vital. Um, thing about using an email is the body because everything will be used without the body, right? So, if, for example, if you're writing an application letter, every information, every vital information has to be there, has to be in the body. So, that's the purpose of writing the body in the email. And the sixth, include any necessary attachments. Of course, uh, when that, have you tried using email and then you try to attach? Um, files, some files, or whatnot. Yes, sir. Uh, way back when I was the governor of the college uh, of our department, uh, I'm always sending an email to our um, instructor, uh, um, to my co-officers, including the necessary attachments like narrative report, the minutes of the meeting. Perfect. Thank you so much. And the last one is to send the email and check for replies. Of course. We have to send an email and then check for replies. Um, for example, if it's a very immediate um, or if it's very important um, email that needs to have an immediate response, then we have to check that from time to time. And the next discussion that I will be, the next lesson that I will be discussing is the benefits of sending emails. So there are plenty of um, benefits when we use email in um, online communication, but I will just put forward here. Okay, so the first one is cost effective. Um, um, the benefit of sending email is cost effective in a way that um, it's free method of communication where you can use for personal or business purposes. And it doesn't cost you a lot, right? It doesn't cost you a lot of money. You don't have to travel just to send the message. You can just you know type in and then send it right away. The second one is simple. Um, once you have an email account and program for sending and receiving emails, it can be very simple to communicate with others. It's very simple, no need to 
have that complex um, way of sending such um, email, I'm sorry, such um, messages. Flexible. Um, email flexible is flexible because email is a tool you, we use with the internet. You can often access it from many places, right? So you can access it anywhere. Unlike um, magsend pa um, ng physical na message, directly to the mga kibang isa sa kabisipin. email, you can check, you can um, write, you can use it anywhere. Diba? In your own time, in your own place. And the last one is paperless. Of course, it's cost effective, it's cost free, it's paperless, it's simple. Right? So, um, way back na kung wala pa na, wala pa na, na move na ang email, uh, traditional uh, traditional na mga ako ang materials like itong papers pa diba very mas exhausting sa job naroon paperless na naroon sila diba doon kayo pachin mo abot for example uh, before um, na experience ko ano nga ang um, ating at was the was the mag send sa job message it takes a month na ma-receive na to ang message right and unlike today na it's just one click away you can see the uh, letter or the message, right? And of course, despite its benefits of using an email, of course, there will always be drawbacks. Drawbacks or disadvantages. So, a disadvantage is email could potentially cost information overload, right? What, what, how do you, why do you think so? That a email could potentially cost information overload? Because, uh, for, uh, as I observed an email, uh, there is a, uh, they will provide you um, um, exact gigabyte. Like, uh, what's the wrong email for, for, for example, an email, may know si Jama. Ang ibong letters, photobra, uh, ang ibong masend na letters, photobra, yung trigi, then di na pwede mo lang kasi trigi. So, the, ang ibong mga letter, may na po din yung stray nilet para na na po kay space. That's correct. That's right, Miguel. Thank you so much for and the second one is email lacks a personal touch. Um, I would say that email lacks a personal touch because um, it's it's very it's very very transactional. So if we're sending an email, it's not we don't we don't put feelings about it, right? There's no personal touch. And like oh, people mismo ang um, deliver a message in person, right? Na actually, ang uh, interaction di ba naman may feelings you show empathy or you say something like that. So, ang hija lang mura din natin just kay email lacks personal touch because very direct din siya, especially for businesses. Diba? For business for business purposes. Like, if you send a letter or an email to a business, it's very direct. There's no personal touch. Um, third one is email can be disrupted. What What is your idea of being disrupted? Respond those emails immediately, so it's very time consuming. And the 
Um, the, the other is a message on, on email as a tool for internal communication. I mean, email cannot be ignored for a long time. You cannot ignore an email for a long time unless if it's not important. So if it's important, then it, it should not be ignored for a long time. We have to reply and it right? especially if it's important compared to compared to but no, physical or personal na release a message. Because you can avoid that person if, if you don't want to do a deliver a message. Um, the last one is email requires timely responses. Anyone? It's an idea. Email DAO requires timely responses. I think uh, email requires timely responses because um, there are there are instances that uh, there uh, possible na matabunan ng message mm -hmm. and masama ba? Yes, very good way to So that's correct. That's very timely and relevant, especially sa mga parang mag work na pagkukot mo in a corporate moment. You will receive a lot of applications. Murag matakunan ito ang mga mas important di pa ng mga kodayan. So that's why um, it requires time and response. We have to check it one by one and response it immediately. But how can all of the advantages and disadvantages, how can we uh, use people effectively? Diba? Because we have to balance everything, right? So if there is an advantage and there is an advantage, but how can we use it effectively? So this, the next slide, I will be discussing the uh, uh, method how to use the to improve email communication. Um, first is minimizing the use of email when there is an email substitute that is a more effective option, such as having a face to face conversation with a colleague using instant messenger, sharing ideas on a project or communication. Second one is users should be discouraged from hitting reply all or responding with unnecessary one word email like okay or thanks. So Murag, we are makapapurang guilty pa tayo to reply all no. Are you guilty of this? Yes. Sometimes. Di ba? Kaya kung tayo yung email at yung mga reply all to that. Email should only be sent to relevant recipients. So as what we discussed, it should be sent to recipients of the email or the message should be specific. Okay, sana itong mas, okay, sana itong tao nga na dapat send that to all of you to, okay? Um, encouraging users to adopt impact zero or similar programs to cut down on their email. So going back, mabalik na gihapot na sa mabalik na sa information overload, di ba? So we have to adopt the inbox zero. So if we are done checking all the emails and reply to it, then delete it. Okay? So that daily ma information overload. Next is using clear subject lines that people can look at and it's you know what the topic of the email is going to be about. So um, one, as what Wendell said earlier, the subject is very important so that the the entirety of the email uh, will be uh, will be easily understood. Diba? receive and recipient then oh okay, okay this is the application level. Okay, this is an existing. Um, next is email communication should be clear, concise, and easy to understand. Of course, we have to be very careful when writing an email. We have to check terminologies. If we are writing an email, we don't have to use the metaphorical you know, terminologies and whatnot. It has to be clear, concise, and very direct. Because email is designed for business. Email is designed for schools and whatnot, for a formal setting. Um, next is insisting on a standard of professionally we can proofread our emails. Dapat proofread each other. We have to double check if it's correct na dito ng email in its entirety. Um, the last one is encourage users to delete unnecessary emails and to set up archival systems to hold on to important emails they may need in the future. So they are all intertwined, right? So. Yes. We have to um, we have to delete unnecessary emails and then keep all the information. So that delete back, we always go back to this information overload. That's right. 
So thank you. That's everything. Do you have any questions about our our topic for today? No, any so violent reactions? Not. All right. So at this moment, um, this is an individual activity. So I want you to write a, a formal letter, any formal letter, and you will be sending it to my email. Okay. You can have your um, your one ball money. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. All right. So are you done? Yes, sir. All right. So I will be checking this out for tomorrow, and then I hope you understand my discussion about email, um, especially in this ever-changing society where online tools or online applications are very vital, right? All right, so again, this is Gerard, and can you all stand up for a prayer? Um, Ruby, can you read the prayer?